My name's Costa Georgiatis. One of this is a main road, so there was three things I needed the plants to achieve. I'm host and presenter on Gardening Australia. Landscape architect. He is up there with the best of them. Environmental so educator. He's waving to the audience. Just lover of the planet, I think. My first foray into television came with uh, the program called Costa's Garden Odyssey. Queensland rain. I love it. I could swim. I could swim in here. Look at it. It's draining up against the house. I'm forever indebted to SBS for giving me that, that chance because that was like a turning point. That was like, yep, this guy's got no brakes, bald tyres, and I think it works. I was fortunate enough to grow up in Sydney, in North Bondi, with my mum and dad and uh, my two sisters. I'm the youngest of the three. Growing up as a little toddler, we used to come over to my grandparents' place opposite Centennial Park regularly. And we'd come into the park and, and I remember with my sisters, we'd, we'd play in the beautiful sandstone drain and, and ride our little tricycle down there. This was the real scary bit when you got to this point because you had to duck down and there'd be spider webs and it was dark, but then you'd get out the other side and think, yes, I did it, and keep going, and keep going. When it comes to gardening, I think my whole family's been an inspiration for me, from my grandparents with the growing and the cooking, and then to my parents in carrying those traditions on. I went to my local primary school, Rose Bay Primary School. One of the highlights at that time was to get the role of bellboy in year six. You got to leave the class in the middle of something. You could just stand up and walk out and the teachers would be like, and then they go, oh, that's right, yeah, oh, you're the, yeah. <laughs> After school, I went straight into an arts degree because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was at Uni of New South Wales, and midway through that year, I found landscape architecture, and I got good marks in arts, transferred across, and never looked back. I always said, once I've got my qualifications, I'm going to see the world. And I took off, traveled for two years, and then I settled in Austria, of all places, in Vienna, and I started working for a company there where we were building natural swimming ponds and rooftop gardens. And I lived there for, you know, the better part of a decade almost. I love sport. I played rugby league in primary school. I played cricket and rugby union in high school. And then I became a rugby referee, which I still am up till today. And I love it. From the age of four to the age of 24, every Monday night, you would have found me at the Rose Bay RSL Youth Club was my first foray into gymnastics. It's amazing to look here and see your name. My name's here, most, most improved boy. And then three years later, 1977, club champion boy. When I'm not filming with Gardening Australia, you'll probably find me every other weekend somewhere out in the country doing something with a group, doesn't matter how big or small. If people ask, I'll go. And that's what I really enjoy because I love seeing people on the ground taking action. Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> You're not bad. Tasmania, we love your show. From Tasmania? Yeah, yeah. Oh! What I get from people is just their uniqueness. I feel that every interaction matters. What's your favourite veggie? Um, cucumber. Cucumber. What about you? Hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your favourite veggie's a hot dog. <laughs> There's so many billion people, I'll never meet them all, but I'll give it a crack. Fancy dress is never a problem for me because I just like to get into the spirit of things. Going on the Ray Martin show was a G up. I entered the bathroom baritone competition. She taught me to yodel, yodel, yodel. So I basically got dressed up in a big pair of Y fronts with braces and yodeled. Yodel, yodel, 
Lee. <laughs> the Morflex Orchestra is just a gathering of school friends, all who were good musos. I mean, I wasn't a muso, but just got involved with it. And it's a crazy disco, funk, rock cabaret with costume changes and, you know, anywhere from nine to 12 or 13 people in it. It's a catharsis. Hello, I'm Costa, and I'm here in the play school garden. I think one of my proudest performing moments would have to be performing Wiggly Woo on play school. Wiggly Woo, Wiggly Woo. That's a thing about, that's a song about a worm. And a worm's about building soil, and soil's about growing plants and health, and you know, everything. So do the Wiggly Woo, turn your hands round and round. I get adults come up and say, I love your wiggly woo. And you just think, yes. <laughs> Trim your beard. The beard is me. Uh, I, I had the beard long before I got involved with TV and I'll have it long after my life continues. Uh, it's, it's not a fad, it's not a trend. People try and interpret that, you know, I've, I'm hiding something. You know, personally, I've got problems. I've got deep, inherent, you know, issues. No, there's no issue. My issue is I hate shaving. So I don't. And that's what you get. But it's a lot of fun. June and Edna, welcome to Floriad. If it gets people into plants, well, I'm happy. Doesn't matter what sort of a day you have, how bad the traffic could be, to finish the day and come back for a swim. I hit the water and just immerse. And when you're splashing around out there in the water, you're really just a little speck in space and time on this big planet of ours, which I love and I've got my time here now. <laughs> 